Hey guys, how's it going? My name is always and welcome back to Material Energy Natural Capital. In the last episode, we were working on a couple of things. We were doing a little bit of work with the crops, um, specifically I see two crops. And we're going to look at this one because we have some wheat, we have some pumpkin, and in between we have an unknown crop. Okay, cool. So we're going to let that grow. And uh, unfortunately, I don't believe the watering can or anything like that works on it, so can't really use that. Uh, but we're going to let that grow, and hopefully it will turn out to be something we want. Um, which, what we're trying to get with the crops, um, the IC2 crops, is we want to get, uh, what are they called, stickweed? Um, stick reed. Uh, stick reed, which will give us sticky resin. Uh, that is the idea, anyways. And to get those, we need... There's a couple different ways to get it. Um, coffee and terawort. Reeds and something else. Blackthorn. Um, but what we were looking at was, I believe, pumpkin and wheat can give us that. Um, right off the bat. So, if we can get the stick reed... Uh, then we'll have access to sticky resin, and that's kind of the idea. So last episode, we also went ahead and made the laser and assembly table. Um, two things that I don't plan on using anytime soon. Um, the main reason is because we don't really have too much of a use quite yet. Um, we've got to do a lot of work, and that's what we're going to start doing today. Um, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, surrounding the idea of automation. Um, I'm probably going to rip out most of this whole thing, and we're going to be a little bit smarter about it for right now anyways. Um, obviously, as we go forward, things are going to be different, um, but if we can start working on getting a couple of things automated uh, so that we have excess like usage of it, uh, that would be super useful. That would be awesome. So, yeah. Um, but before we get into that, a couple things. One, um, we've got feathers and eggs, so let's get some money. Uh, and I have also been collecting uh, ore from our quarry over here. Um, we've hit a pocket of iron, it would seem. Uh, and we knew that that was going to happen eventually. Um, but it's been pretty nice. I've got six stacks of iron ore on me right now. Uh, and this thing keeps producing. Um, it's just slow. Uh, one of these years we will upgrade this. Um, but yeah, we already have another stack. So, um, pretty nice. Dark gems. We, we're getting a lot of random things from this. And so I check it every once in a while. Just to make sure we have, you know, one, kind of the important thing is space in our inventory. Uh, so... This is my tools, yes, okay, just making sure. All right, so what are we gonna do today? Well, um, like I said, automation. Automation is kind of the big thing that we need to work on right now. And how, how do I wanna handle all of this iron? Um, for the time being, we're gonna put a bunch of it away. Um, we don't need that much iron. Uh, but I do want to take some iron and copper. Uh, and eventually we're going to store everything in our storehouse. Um, that's the whole point of this thing. Uh, is we're going to probably pipe things in. Uh, and have a sorting system type thing. Or we might just do a planet logistics once we get to that point. Um, which speaking of which. I kind of want to. Before we do anything major. Um, we are going to go ahead and smelt up a bunch of the iron. I'm just trying to decide what to do right away. Uh, so let's go ahead and smelt up a bunch of the iron. There should be enough fuel in these. I believe it goes in here. Uh, and everything should work fine back here. We've pretty much fixed everything. Uh, and then it gets smelted up and will be put in here. Um, my frames, I'm lacking on frames for some reason. It's odd. Uh, but before we do too much, let's head over here. There is some things I want to grab. I want to dig into 
uh, some of the meteorites and see what we can find. Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be a little bit smarter about using our uh, conveyor belts and inserters. And uh, I'd like to make a handful of different things. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how I want to do everything with it. Uh, because there is some... Uh, how do I want to say it? There, there's some trickiness to what I want to do, um, ultimately. But at the same time, we'll, we'll have to figure out um, what's reasonable to do at this point. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is make a bunch of different components. Uh, and components are... You know, iron plates, iron gears, uh, the nodes, the stone plates, those are all kind of components. They're not really useful by themselves, obviously, but we are going to need them to make other things later. Uh, and so that is... Is this another? No, I think that's just part of this one. Okay. So the easiest way, if you... If you're not familiar with these things, uh, to take care of them is to go to the top and somewhere in the center-ish, just dig down. Um, there is a chest in these guys, um, these meteorites, and this is going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, the big thing is we want to, we want to be able to make all these components so that we can make other things. Um, so big things that are like the circuits and pistons uh, require, you know, iron plates and, you know, copper wire. Okay, that's, that's all we needed. Uh, and we're just going to cobblestone our way out of that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of kind of remnants of these meteorites just lying around, which is really strange. Um, there is copper right there. I've got to remember that. Do I have a waypoint for that? Um, turn it on. No, I do not. So we're going to just pop down here and we're going to put a waypoint on that because that is copper that is easy to get. There's a ton of it around here. Um, as well as coal and iron. All right, um, so we're just gonna waypoint this. Uh, copper, coal, and iron. Um, exposed. All right, cool. So let's head back home. Yeah, that's really nice. Really nice to see. Because uh, there's dense iron. Let's see if there's anything else here. There is an island above. But I don't really care about those. There's a lot of other things. Oh man, this. Coconuts. Okay. Um, so let's head back home. Uh, but before we do. Wow, that is a lot of clay. Man, there is so many resources in this mod pack, but the problem is getting them. Um, real quick, I want to, oops, not language, uh, video settings. Let's take that down a little bit, so hopefully the frame rate will be a little bit better. I don't know why it's like hovering around 30. That's really weird. Uh, and it's really like, disorienting for me. Uh, let's see, what else can I do? Let's turn that to fast for now. Did that help? No. All right, I will figure that out in a little bit. Um, but let's head back. Um, actually, you know what? I am going to take a pause here. Uh, and I'm going to get set up for what I want to do today and get back to the base and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Um, I have no idea how to fix the 
FPS, uh, it's really strange because it's really only when I look over this direction. Uh, is it the railcraft stuff? Is it this stuff? No, it doesn't seem to be that. It seems to be... I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Um, I It bothers me a little bit, but I'll get over it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, back at the factory, uh, I went ahead and cleaned up a little bit of the... Um, well, stuff we had here. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to make it a little bit nicer. So let's let's think about this a little bit. Uh, and one thing I kind of want to do... Uh, you know what? We don't need to use item frames. We can use signs. And signs are the same recipe, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Okay. So we're going to make a bunch of signs. Um, which means I need some more wood. We have some sticks. Let's take like eight sticks. That should be fine. Uh, and let's get some more wood. Which, again, we're not supposed to be able to get so much wood. Um, but unfortunately, the mod pack is a little broken. Uh, so we can get a lot more than uh, I think it intends for us to have. Uh, but what we'll do is just real quick. Uh, so that is a node. We're going to put that there for a second. All of those schematics. Do I have any other schematics? Yeah, this one is blank. We're going to use this one. Uh, and what I want to do is just make a handful of signs. And... Do these only stack to... Oh, right, they only stack to 16. Okay, fair enough. Um, that's it. Alright, so... Um, things we want to automate. We need to automate. So we have ore processing. And let's actually um, do something like this. Fuel ore. There. Uh, now it would be nicer, obviously, if we had, you know, nice little item frames, but those cost leather and I don't have a lot of leather. So what we can do, let's let's make a little bit of a to-do list type of thing. Um, let's do it over here. Why not? So let's see. We're going to need, if we want to make electronic circuits, we need wires, refined iron, which we can... Uh, we can we can make that just fine, but we're gonna need uh, copper coils is the big thing. So things we're gonna need we're gonna need iron plates. Uh, so we're gonna need iron plates uh, and copper plates. Uh, copper coils, uh, stone plates. Uh, let's go ahead and just put the nodes on here. Um, what else? Okay, I don't like how I'm doing this. Let, let's let's change this a little bit. So, if we look at, for example, the iron machine holes, we need iron plates from Railcraft, which is also iron plates from um, Tech Reborn IC2. So, there are two different types of iron plates. So, we're going to need iron plate... Okay, let's start with the stone, actually, on the top. Stone plates, uh, iron plate, uh, IC2, and then uh, iron plate rail, uh, copper plates. We're going to need nodes, uh, iron gears, Copper coil, uh, I think is what it's called. And that will allow us, yeah, copper coil, which will allow us to get into, like, pistons. So, um, and that is to make things like electronic uh, circuits, uh, pistons, uh, machine halls, 
and whatever else we need. So that is the things we're working towards. So the electronic circuits, machine holes, and then uh, also, let's go ahead and machine hole and uh, cyclic assembler. So those are the kind of important things that we're trying to work towards right now. If we can mass produce machine hauls, for example, and cyclic assemblers, if we can mass produce cyclic assemblers, then we can basically self-replicate factories. We can make more things more easily. Uh, and we can just mass produce things. Like we're currently mass producing the stone plates. Now, something that we're going to want to do eventually is have an output. Um, because I want to store most of the stuff in here. Um, we'll have barrels everywhere and we'll we'll figure out something. Uh, I believe there is a thing called an item router. Um, I might want to look into this one. I'm not entirely sure how that one works. But um, Project Red should have some things uh, that would sort inventories. Uh, that might be something we want to do. So the first things we're going to want to kind of make is probably the stone plates, iron plates. We're going to want to make all of this stuff that we can uh, as easily as we can. Now, if we look at um, what's something, the gears. Iron gears require the Tech Reborn IC2 iron. Um, how much... 576, I think that is, yeah, that is for uh, four ingots. So we can get away with it with just not using the stone, but we can also just make those. Those can be crafted uh, fairly easily. So basically what it's boiling down to is we need to use these rolling machines um, to get various things. And we'll want to make more rolling machines eventually so rolling machines are iron around a workbench. That's easy enough. And then the workbenches are stone gears or just planks, actually. Um, we can just make the planks. We can just use it that way. That does give us, yeah, auto workbenches. So that's easy enough to get. Um, and we can, we can make, like, you know, we're, we're going to need a rolling machine for... Of course, it's not going to show me the recipes in there. Uh, if we look at the recipes, we don't need to make rebar, uh, at least not right now. Um, but things like the copper coil. So we're going to need to make copper coil. We're going to need to make plates, um, iron and copper plates right now. Uh, and if we want to make... I mean, we could even make stone plates with these, but I'd rather use the powered, uh, powerless version uh, to make that kind of stuff. But so if we want to make the copper coils, we need to make the copper plates. So that's three machines. We have three right here. Uh, and so what we can do is we can start being a little bit smarter about how our automation works. Uh, now this has stuff in it currently. Uh, and something else we're going to want to do is um, we're going to want to have multiple things smelting up. So we can get stone plates. Oh man, I have so much stuff in here. Okay. Yeah, that's... That is not going to be good. Um, so how do I want to do this? The other thing that I need to kind of figure out is how I'm going to get items over to the storeroom. Um, obviously, I'm going to make, or maybe not obviously, but I'm going to dig a tunnel. Um, and we'll have like an input uh, here-ish. Maybe we'll just put something like this. Uh, and we'll say... from factory uh, and then we can sort things in here uh, something else we'll want to mass produce is like the item barrels 
Uh, these are going to be super useful to have. Um, they're not overly expensive, um, but we do need to cut down a lot of trees. And that might be something uh, I'll go off. Um, there is a couple of islands. Uh, I mean, there's a huge forest over here. And maybe I'll just clear cut the forest uh, one of these days just to kind of do something, to be honest, uh, while I wait for other things. Let's check our crop real quick. Uh, but you kind of get the idea. And, yeah, that is not the kind of crop we want. So we can we can scan that. Actually, let's let's mess with this a little bit. So we can use the cropalyzer, and I don't know why I can't see the inventory, but uh, this does need power. And I don't know how to get it powered, to be honest. Um, I do have a generator. Um, so I broke a solar panel. <laughs> Uh, just to kind of move it, and it gave me a generator because that's what IC2 does. Uh, and so let's put that in here. Can I put that? No. So yeah, if you break it with a um, pick, you get a generator because it doesn't uh, it doesn't drop the item typically. Um, so I'll need to figure out a way to charge that up. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Clean up the inventory a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to run, and, and I'm going to kind of mess around with this a little bit um, because I'm not 100% sure on what exactly it is I'm doing with IC2. Or not IC2, but the, uh, the automation. I'm not 100% sure how I want to handle it, um, but the basic idea is going to be this. Inserters allow us to do different things. So if we have uh, an input chest, let's just put an input chest uh, for sake of argument here. And I'm gonna make it look nice and all that kind of fun stuff later. Um, and these items go on a conveyor belt and whatnot um let's let's do it this way of course so if we want something like this and so we have items on the conveyor belt and then these items are going to come back over here um and I don't have any other chests or inventory or anything like that uh, on me. Do I have a chest or something over here? Um, not currently, but it's fine. So basically what I'm getting to is what we can do is we can have, you know, a couple of inserters like this. And I can say, you pick up stone. And you pick up glass. Uh, and we're going to have those be whiteless. And you pick up stone plates. And those are ghost items, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, and if we put... Um, I guess we can only do one, because I don't have any place for these things to go. But if we put a bunch of items in here, you'll see that the stone plate goes right on by those. Uh, but this inserter okay you're supposed to pick all that stuff up. Um, why did it not pick up any of that stuff? Did it just need to be ignoring the signal? Um, just ignore everything. Okay. So that worked. Um, maybe it just needs to ignore everything. Because maybe it's looking for very specific things. I don't know. Um, but... Oh, I didn't want to do that. But if we throw some more items in here... I don't know why those two... I guess because they don't have an inventory. 
Um, I know how to check that. So I, I'm still learning a little bit about these inserters. Um, but if we put something like this, then we'll, we'll be able to see, you know, if we put all of this like so, um, those guys should grab those. Yes, and they do. Perfect. So that's kind of the idea of what we're going to be working with. We're going to have um, kind of singular conveyor belts um, going to different locations. Uh, and we'll just tell the inserters what they can grab and what they're not allowed to touch. Um, so for example, uh, and this is the kind of cool thing, um, all the things that we're working with, so in order to make uh, the, let, let's see, in order to make the nodes, we need flint, stone plates, and glass. Uh, and we can just te tell, tell something that that's what it's allowed to pick up. Uh, and it puts it into a cyclic assembler, and we make what we need. Uh, so there, there's going to be a lot of kind of tedious work with that um, that I don't want to set up completely on here, but uh, like on camera. Um, but some things that we need to do is um, we're going to need to kind of separate what we want, and this is this is where we're going to run into the problem. So for example. Um, if we put in the system uh, a bunch of copper, uh, we can turn it into copper coil. Um, but what happens with that copper coil? Well, we might want some of it to be pistons. Um, pistons require copper coils, um, but we might want some of it to be electronic circuits. So how we kind of split that off, uh, I'm not entirely sure. So what I'll probably end up doing is just storing that and then... Um, we'll have to figure out a way to to make things a little bit better. So uh, it might be the easiest is if we have, um, for example, just a chest, and this is going to be inputs, you know, maybe we'll want um, to make nodes. So we'll need stone, gla uh, actually we want cobble, uh, sand, and flint uh, and maybe that will make you know nodes uh, in, input sand cobble and flint and then that's what goes in there and it makes nodes somewhere else um, so that might be what we do uh, and then we'll just kind of reuse things as needed um, but one of the big things is like if we want to make pistons, for example, maybe we'll just have nodes already in there. So it's it's kind of a weirdness that we'll have to kind of deal with. Um, but I think we can manage it. And some of the big things is just going to be, you know, figuring out what all it is we're going to want to make and kind of dealing with that. Um, so the other thing is we're going to want to send these things off somewhere else. And, you know, maybe at some point our storehouse will also have some crafting uh, so that we can uh, make various things. But unfortunately, crafting is just a pain for us to do uh, because we have to set up schematics every time. Um, so we'll probably not do it that way. Uh, but circuits and pistons are kind of the big things that we want right now, as well as the iron machine hulls, because um, we're going to need those. Uh, so... What I will do is let me go ahead and I, I'm going to cut once more. Uh, I'm going to work on getting a little bit of this stuff set up uh, and we'll get our first little bit of automation um, here so that we can start gathering the resources to make um, specifically the rock crusher, which I don't know how useful that's going to be currently. Um, but then we can also start making like pressers, which will allow us to get honey and beeswax. Uh, and then we can also work towards getting electronic circuits, which will in turn allow us to make um, more cyclic assemblers, uh, which would be really nice. So let me do a little bit of work off camera and I'll come back once that is done. 
Alrighty then, so I think I have something kind of figured out with this, um, but I am running out of supplies. Uh, one of the big things, I do not have any more inserters, and I'm running low on uh, basic universal cables, which is unfortunate, um, but uh, kind of whatever. So at this point, things that I want to be able to do, um, so currently... I have set up all of the rolling machines and I have this little configuration so presumably uh, and let's let's see if this will work uh, unfortunately I don't have any more inserters so let's actually buy one um, we can go to the marketplace there is some basic item transport there's also better storage which I might buy that eventually too it's five coins this one is four we can afford that manually submit We'll get a bunch of things, um, but most importantly, we're getting a bunch of inserters. Uh, most of the other stuff I don't care about right now anyways. Uh, so hoppers, shoots. Uh, hoppers, are those pretty cheap? Shoots, I'm not entirely sure what a shoot does. Um, so that is something I'll have to figure out. I think... I think it allows for multiple items, like... Oh, I'm not, let's place one down and see see what it does. Uh, I, I vaguely remember these things, but I don't remember them all that well. So yeah, they have it has, it's it's like a hopper, but it's a little bit more automatic. There there's something strange about it, and I don't remember what. But anyways, um, what we can do is I want to test a couple things. First of all, I want to test wrong way. Uh, I constantly put these things the wrong way. Uh, if we put, uh, let's say, a piece of iron in there, uh, it will get picked up by the correct one. And if we put a piece of copper in there, uh, it should go to the last one. And it can pick it up. Okay, that's what I want to make sure. Because this little loop uh, is basically just so that we can... Um, we can have this guy pick up certain items. Um, so for example, we'll whitelist uh, copper plates, copper, and iron. Because that is what this whole system will be able to do. Uh, and then what we can do for now is just put uh, an output. So uh, that's all that this is. And then there will be something similar on this side. I believe these go away, yeah, so, um, and this is for anything that's smeltable, uh, and we can kind of sort everything with inserters, uh, and then this is going to be all the outputs uh, for that section, and then I have something similar over here, um, with the exception of this guy is picking up the iron plates and the stone, uh, and it just goes to any of these forging hammers that are available, uh, and then gets picked up and sent back. Uh, so that is processing, to be perfectly honest. Um, what I could do now is, I, and a lot of this I gotta figure out, you know, uh, I wanna make sure that the, so, so for the record, I had to put the iron in the middle, um, because if the copper is next to the, oops, wrong thing. Uh, if the copper is next to the copper coil uh, machine, then it will automatically feed this, and I don't necessarily want that because copper plates might be useful as well. Um, we might need them for other things later, um, such as these. Uh, but I don't know, I, and, and that's something that if, if need be, we can deal with, um, and otherwise it's whatever. So... Uh, you know, for the time being, I don't know that we're going to need copper plates in general. I might switch those back so that it only makes copper coils. Uh, and that might not be a terrible idea. Um, let's see, industrialization is probably where we'd see that. Um, but I don't see anything that indicates we'll need anything else. So, um, yeah, that, that might be something I switch around. Um, alternatively, I could have this output 
uh, I could feed the, I could put a blacklist, for example, of copper plates on here and do something like this. It's not as, uh, not as elegant, but uh, at the same time, uh, so if I put a, let's, let's put eight copper here. So this isn't as elegant of a solution to all this, but um, if I want to go back and change it at some point, so that is going to make the copper plate, and that's just going to go right on down and then get picked up by that guy. So um, this is a somewhat elegant solution. Um, it's a simple enough solution, but it's one that I can go back and change fairly easily if I want to start collecting the copper plates. Um, but then what we can do is just from an output chest um, sort of things or, um, you know, we, we can just kind of figure out where things go. And um, one of the big things that I'm going to have trouble with for now is just power and getting power to everywhere that I need. Um, these basic universal cables are not super cheap. They do require steel. Um, so I made a little bit of steel. We have a little bit more in our base, um, but they require steel and redstone. So that might be something we make. And we have the copper coil. So yeah, that worked just fine. Um, so I will tell you guys what. I'm going to finish up getting some automation here. Uh, and the idea is I want to be able to mass produce the nodes and eventually the electronic circuits. Um, but that is going to take some time because I need to make... A bunch of cyclic assemblers uh, we're gonna need one for each of the the intermediate steps and all that kind of fun stuff so uh, there is gonna be a lot of machines and all that kind of stuff and we'll have like all the cyclic assemblers somewhere doing everything now we could just flat out use the auto workbenches but I don't like them um, they are buggy for one uh, I've had issues with bugs with these guys uh, before and honestly I don't know how good these are at making things uh, well but we can always use those as well if we want to um, I probably should keep one kinda out so I can make things as needed uh, so if I want to make some more chests for example but they are incredibly buggy. They're also fairly slow. So that is, there's a lot of downsides to these guys and I don't like using them. So I'm not going to if I don't have to. So that is going to be it for today's episode. Um, something else we kind of need to start working on and kind of thinking about is moving um, some quarry stuff. We, we need to go gather some more materials. Specifically, I want a lot of sand. And well, that's unfortunate. Um, I believe these are all weeds. So that is the downside and it took out a bunch of crops. Um, and yeah, okay, well that's unfortunate, but oh well, um, I, I'm gonna have to do something about that later, uh, but anyways, that's gonna be it for today's episode, I have a lot of work to do, um, and I'm just gonna sl kind of slowly work towards making more stuff. Uh, still need to get a lot of sticky resin, um, which a lot of those trees have grown, which is nice, uh, and kind of figuring it, that out. Um, I don't know if I want to use the crops or not. They're kind of a pain. Um, and then just kind of getting whatever I can done um, so that next time we can hopefully do some more automation stuff, um, get into some more uh, higher tech things even. Uh, and one thing that we're definitely going to need relatively soon um, is power storage. So maybe we'll look into that a little bit more. Um, but 
Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Wow, so much iron. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!